Hi, this is Natalie from Nine Dot Arrow from the Netherlands, and I'm here to do a little show and tell, maybe craft. Yes, I'm going to craft for sure with these two freebie pages. They each have six, uh, no, each have three tags, and it's part of the LDA June tag challenge we have at the moment. And we have. Um, a few rules if you enter and the reason why I have those rules because if you um, do it the way the event is set up you will gain more entries I have to explain if you just post you finish one tag you take a picture and you post it in a Facebook group and you use the hashtag LDA June tag challenge that will count for one entry so your name will be in the giveaway of the prizes I have three um, digital gifts to give away your name will be in the prizes uh, in the no in the entries one more time but each time you post another picture with another tag of course you have another chance so the more you post the more entries you gain if you also have a YouTube channel and make a video about this challenge where you create your tag or even multiple tags and you use the hashtag LDA June tag challenge under your video and you post a link of the video under the event that will count for three entries. Now you're probably asking, okay, but if I take a picture of a tag that I made on a video, can I paste the picture as an entry and also the YouTube link as an entry? Yes, you can. I have a lot of rules, but <laughs> there's also a lot of freedom. So you can do a lot of things to gain more entries. And the reason why I do it um, is I want to have some buzz in the Facebook group and seeing all the people's creation because it's really fun and it really inspires others to make different things. Yeah, your, your, maybe your tag will inspire somebody to make a beautiful page in their journal or finally come up with a good idea for a new journal they want to make the cover. and or people who are actually doing this challenge, printed it out and sitting behind their desk thinking, yeah, what what will I make? What will I create? So that's the reason why I want to, um, yeah, I want to do this. And um, like I said, the, I have three, three prizes. So we're not going to decide which tag is more beautiful or which tag is the best tag, but because, well, when is a tag beautiful and when do you think this is the best tag? It, to me, it depends on my mood, on how I feel, on what I've been doing that day. Uh, if I have more, uh, like, into if I'm more into nature things, then maybe I like a nature theme one, one day and a more flowery one the next day so I'm not going to pick a name and be a jury I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that I'm just going to do random drawing but you can increase winning an actual prize by putting more posts with the hashtag um, yes this is <laughs> this this is the administration part um, and as you all know or Maybe not, but I will show you. I am working on this folio. And actually there's another challenge going on with this kit also. That's the Botanical Journey kit. Um, that's the same sort of um, setup like the Line.Arrow Anniversary kit. It's very low priced, I think. You, got, you get 20 pages to play. 
and I made a folio. It's not finished. I did. I love the tag. Sorry. I did make uh, a pocket and in the kit has the exactly the exactly same in the kit. You have exactly the same tags like this and obviously with a different pattern and I made a trifold out of this sorry it's the wrong way I have a video on how I made this and I did collect some pages and folded them already I do have to sew and add the trims I also choose chosen um, some botanical pages from Dutch books that I want to include and I also found uh, a book page with a fox and I covered it with col food colored paper and I made an envelope of it so that's what I already done but I do have to add the trims and everything and I also have made let me see where I have it. This and this I made from. I have a video on that too. No, I don't have a video. I only showed you how I made it. Of this, it's just a piece of um, cardstock that I had found in a packaging. So, and the other thing I found that would go really well in a journal is this these are actually from a natural no um, I don't know tre treasures of nature sorry this is from the tre treasures of nature kit that goes very well with these pages also but this is uh, a kit from I think it was from January of this year yeah but the the thing I made, the, the folder flappy thingy, that's also a freebie on the Facebook group. And I have a video of how I made different sorts of things. So just wanted to show you that I'm going to I'm going to try if it fits to add these two pieces pieces to this folio. But I also was thinking these are very nice big tags and you can create a lot of fun things with these that's why they are so big so why not create a tag and put it in the folio and maybe i even create two or three so i'm going to make some things and hopefully it will inspire you what i also did i wanted to show you that and you can use this trick also on your digitals on your reg regular digitals so if you have a full page um, this is printed this way but if you have the page in front of you and you go to the printer settings and you switch it to this your text will come out like this so you have the same version but smaller and I thought this would be fun because you can put one and make it into a tuck spot. So I did this also with the other page. Just switch it before printing. So you don't have to be a high tech Photoshop um, computer nerd. Sorry for the word. This is something we all can do and it's very easy. Uh, as long as you make the base this size you can obviously put smaller tags on top you can even cut these smaller and make four or five different sizes so you can do a lot sorry i was out of frame just going to so yes but what i also did i printed it on tracing paper and i also printed it on the we call it caulk papier. What was the word? I don't know. It's not caulk paper in English. It's it's 
it's like the same I don't know <laughs> but it's like some sort of vellum so let's not get into the words because I'm not very good at the English version of this paper but I I just wanted to do something with this so yes that's what I'm going to do I'm going to for this one or this one I'm not going to make a trifold because I just made a trifold to put on the on the cover of the book so like I said I want to use this one this one I'm going to back the text with book pages and when i when i'm done i will be back i'm not going to show you how i do that okay i cut out these two at the beginning and back them with the book pages and also with um coffee dyed paper ink them i also cut out one of the music ones because they are larger you see and and also cut out the music one printed on the Cock paper that looks like vellum and I want to do something with this I was thinking this and this or maybe I can do it this way I think I'm going to do it like this this one is lighter I'm going to sew on this onto this tag and obviously it's too wide and too large too high I will cut it off and this one I'm going to glue it uh, no I'm first going to sew around both of both of the tags so I have sort of a base and then I'm going to embellish them so when I have sewn on the pieces I will be back okay I sewn around the tags and left this part open these two I wanted to put together but I do like this texture so I'm thinking about adding this one over here I I create another thing with this one so I'm going to quickly cut it out and put on the book pages and the backing paper and then I will be back okay I have this one with the pocket this one this one and these two I'm going to put together I said and yeah that's what I was going to do because this one is sturdy and this one is a little bit flimsy but now I'm thinking I can put it like this and make this the back side so that's what I'm going to do and yeah let me start off with this one I did back this tag and I don't know why because I'm going to glue it on to another tag but yeah it's been a busy week so sometimes I do things that aren't very well planned so yeah we have this one this one and this one because it has to go in the botanical folio at least one of them I do need botanical items to put on and I have some of the little bits and pieces over here um, like labels and um, 
butterflies, another set of butterflies, numbers. Here I have little bits and pieces, not all of them were cut by the scan and cut, but I want to include one of these. And this, I think these came from the industrial findings kit. There are a lot of these things on. This is a pink one. No. These are cute too. But definitely want to use one of those. Let me see. Well, I'm not going to decide now because it will take ages. I will do it when I I have flowers leaves bits and pieces I have more bits and pieces over here and I also have bits and pieces from this I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, although these are very cute to put on the tags. They are. Let me see. This is from the Floral Explosion, these items, and uh, this is from the Botanical Journey kit. But I combined the two kits in the journal, so that's why I have them ready to go. Well, I already decided which... I didn't know I had a, had a decision already on which thing I'm going to put on the outside <laughs> oh, but this is very cute this is cute too this one I want to add a little tab to it this is too much of the same color This tab and do I want to put something in? Yeah, I think let me check. These two together, I like them. They are very busy, but I like it. Something like this. First, oh, I still have the frame here, but let me first focus on this. Yeah. Inking. Sorry for the noise. So yes, I did uh, sew around all the pieces and what I do like to do, what I want to do is um, put an eyelet in here. So, yeah, this one. And yeah, 
gonna glue this on And I'm, when I'm gluing this down, I feel it needs some lace over here too. I'm gonna pop it under. Hope I still can. Yeah, I can. This is better. Yeah. Oh, I really like this one. Now, let's hope the tag will still fit. And I did sew around this too and added a little uh, crochet tab. And I might have to cut off a little bit, bit on both sides. But don't mess up the stitching. So it will slide in a little bit easier. Yeah, this is okay. Some more glue. Now it's behind the eyelet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will work. I really like how this turned out and I have to put something on top uh, I think I'm just going to pop in an eyelet and add a little bit of trim that match matches this tag I'm going to finish her off or him but I think it's, it's a she <laughs> to add the flower so. yeah. need a little bit of trim to pull through the for the tag sure this would be fun I 
I'm going to pull this through so I have a two color two color lace I will finish the rest of camera and then I will get so I did pull it through Shorter. So, yeah. so this is tag number one. I should keep this way. This is the back side, and I really like it. Then we have the other two tags. And I had the book plates that I want to include. This I want to put stuff in. I'm first going to work on this one. And I want to put in something from the Botanical Journey kit. No, I don't want to put in a tag. See what I got. I want to put something on the outside. Yes. Although it will be difficult to take it out, but and it's a secret writing spot. Wash on. No, don't glue yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to put extra things. Probably will. Yeah. Yes, this is what I want. Nope. Maybe this is too big. No. Uh, do I have a nice butterfly to put on? Tiny butterfly. I need the bigger ones. Maybe a blue one. No. Has to be one of these. Let me decide. Quickly. Okay. 
this one. So yes, I'm very excited about the challenge. Um, I'm actually doing some of the challenge myself now, so it's fun too. I don't have time to do all this, but I'm taking time to do all this, because otherwise there's no fun. Although I like making kits and watching the movies, the videos of all the design team members, I really do like it. It's very time consuming and it takes all of your time to craft away. And I do need my crafting. I decide I decided to put in three eyelets just when we were talking I decided they had to go in. It wasn't the original plan. Yes. Um, where did I leave the butterfly? Here. And I also want to put some. Yeah. I want to put on a leaf too. I like all the bits and pieces you can play with. I do have a lot of stickers um, from when I try to journal every day in my Trevor's notebook but well I don't I, uh, I'm not really somebody who journals a lot so I have a lot of those stickers but most of them are very shiny and I don't like them shiny I think I put too much glue on this one. I'm gonna leave it, I'm going to stitch around this. If that's even possible with the eyelets in. Probably not, I'm only going to stitch on this and then I will be back. So I did manage to sew around this. I just moved the needle by hand and traced around the the eyelets so yes that worked I'm gonna put it on I really like making small projects separate obviously when you make a journal you make a lot of small projects I like the ephemera things and such embellishments but um, there's I always make them when the journal is done and going through the pages and put stuff in but what I'm trying to say is that I like it to make stuff up front um, like this I've never done that before not very often anyway not sure going on like this and I leave the this on then I need something like a tap or yeah I'm thinking to do a paper tap but it's the same so So I did sew on the piece of lace, but I do want to trim it down a little bit, it's a little bit too long.
So yes, this is tag number two. So we have these now. Oh, sorry, bumped the camera. And then I have this one. I was thinking, should I put on this? I'm not going to do that. I like the frame, but I really like the, um, the texture of this tag. It looks like it's um, cardstock where you have the boxes from, the the wavy part. I don't know how to explain. I hope you understand. But I really do like this. And yeah, what am I going to do? Nobody knows, not even me. Flowers at the back. Or leaves. Or flowers and leaves. Something like that. I'm already thinking I need something behind. Let me first put this down so I have a better. Sorry. Yeah, I like it, but it's, it's too, too neat, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to. Put it on like this and flower. No. This one. This or I want this one. I want this one. This one. Something like this, yeah. Or do I want a butterfly because it's very large? Let me see, let me check. Oh, wait, I also have this kit the um, ephemera fuzzy cut kit number four. Not sure if you can see. I also have these and I have the cutouts. And that has some flowers and I want to add a flower. And I also know there's a beautiful butterfly in this kit that I haven't used yet. And if I did I could print it out a second time of course. The green one, yes, this one. But let me see if I can put on, this is too large, <laughs> not gonna happen. This one.
So. But this is the same color. Almost. I'm not going to use this one. I need something else. I thought about... Ah, that's perfect for me. I'm going to do it like this. Because I want to make um, a tag that is... Um, romantic, but also botanical and a little bit... Um, I don't know how to explain. Not so pretty. It is pretty, but well, not too precise. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to ink, I'm going to ink off camera because this is going to take a long time. So I glued on the lace already. Not going to sew this piece. Cool. Some inking. on the spot that I want to glue it on well I'll leave it like this it's okay I do want to add a piece of lace it needs lace it's number 36 So, this is what we have now. I like it, yeah. It's cute. Something on top. going to sew this on and then I will be back so this is how it turned out what I did was I had a large loop and I folded it in half and folded it in between let me show you it was like this on the tag and I did this so it's more sturdy because it's doubled it's four layers now and it it really well i like it not so flimsy this one is short enough not to be flimsy but this is wider so yeah this is what i came up with okay it's not glued in i was afraid i had glued it in Final inking. This one we can pull out a tree and write, not a tree, it's a fern leaf. We can write at the back side. It's a secret writing spot and I really like it. And this is the back side. 
this is the back side of this one this one is obviously layered and of course you can also keep this side open and tuck something from the side in but well I did it like this I think there's a lot going on already but I really like this one well I like them all actually and this one I didn't sew on the front only on the outside of the tag and a lot of layering but I also like this one so yeah I'm pretty pleased with how this came out uh, I hope it inspires you a little bit to create tags in the LDA June tag challenge and yes I'm going to share this in the Facebook group um, I will leave the link down below of the Facebook group in case you want to join in we have two challenges going on, one with the Botanical Journey kit, but you, know, you have to buy the kit to be in a challenge. Yeah, a little bit of a close-up. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe you want to subscribe to my channel if you, not, if you aren't a subby already. Make sure you hit the bell so you will, know, will be notified when I upload new videos. Um, hope to see you next time. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye bye. Bye.